Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today we are looking at the much requested end of the Italian cruiser line, the Venezia. Well, well Italian for Venice really, which is a city in Italy, which makes sense. So uh, the Venezia, to nobody's great surprise, didn't exist. Even on paper she didn't. Basically, I think the last ship that actually existed in the line was the Sara. Or um, if you want, uh, Gorizia. But the Amalfi already, I think, and especially Brindisi and Venezia are actually, well, imagined design. I think some of the earlier ones are based on designs that um, the Italian shipbuilders were making for the Spanish Navy at some point. But uh, none of these ships ever really existed. So this is a purely speculative ship of what would have happened if the Italians had continued building larger and larger heavy cruisers. And uh, that's what this thing then looks like. So, well, all right then, uh, what do we have? What do we have here? Uh, she's got mm, not much in terms of armor, a decent health pool for a tier 10, but well, an okay health pool maybe for a tier 10 cruiser. 38,000 hit points. Um, she is very, very quick, like all the Italian ships, but she doesn't like to turn particularly well. So that's that can be a little bit of an issue. And she's got guns. Lots and lots of guns. Uh, in fact, 15 203mm uh, heavy cruiser guns. Now, as is typical for the Italian cruisers, uh, you don't get high explosive. You only get armor piercing and semi-armor piercing. Now, if you're not familiar with semi-armor piercing, the general idea is that semi-armor piercing has less penetration than armor piercing, but more penetration than high explosive, but does more damage than armor piercing. The problem is to actually get the damage through, which makes the semi-armor piercing actually uh, especially deadly against destroyers because, well, it armor piercing, 203 millimeter armor piercing has a tendency to over penetrate at close ranges. Mm -hmm. Semi-armor piercing doesn't have that problem which means that you have effectively a 15,000 points alpha strike on this thing against destroyers, which can uh, come as a very, very nasty surprise for anybody who's not expecting that. Uh, yeah, so uh, range is okay-ish, and uh, lots, of, lots, lots of these turrets. She also gets torpedo tubes, as is traditional with the Italian cruisers. You get two triple launches. They have uh, very, very narrow spreads and very good angles. So you don't need to do the Japanese, I have to give full broadside to get my torpedoes away sort of move, which can be uh, punished very quickly. And they, re they reload reasonably fast, but uh, they're not the fastest out there in terms of speed. And once again, you only get two triple launches of them. The AA on this thing is actually not bad. So, I mean, it's not, it's not Wooster level, but uh, since we've been talking about this a lot, 2.4 kilometer range on the small caliber AA is pretty reasonable. Uh, the surface detection of 10 kilometers is a bit on the mer side, which means that in combination with the poor armor and everything, you have to kind of be careful in this ship. You do get ship skills. Uh, she gets fuel smokes, and these are uh, level 2 fuel smokes, so they last for 15 seconds. And uh, as is traditional with fuel smokes, you actually can take them with you at full speed, which on this ship is a reasonable amount. <laughs> She does get a precise aim, and she does get the, the air defense alert one, which doesn't do a huge amount, but still, uh, she's actually a pretty good support ship for that sort of thing, but that's not her primary role. So I, I have to admit that it took me a really long time to get the hang of this ship. And I, I have played um, a fair amount of battles, and probably like the first five to ten battles or so, I was really more on the, okay, man, this is not quite working for me sort of thing. And I, I am someone who really, really enjoys cruisers. Until I realized something. And the, I realized that this is not a 15-gun ship. This is a 9-gun ship, which has an occasional 6 guns extra. Uh, if the, well, if the situation arises and lends itself to it. Because, uh, let's have a closer look at um, the front of this ship. Do you notice something? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a bit easier to see. Do you see it now? The forward turrets are super firing. And not just the first two, all three of them. 
because the third turret is actually sitting on top of that ledge of superstructure and has a raised or an elevated barbette, such that it can also superfire above the other two. I mean, the, the second turret is kind of a bit in an awkward position because in order to give the third turret enough clearance, it kind of has to bounce its, its barrels off the, off the A turret. So that looks a bit wonky. But in principle uh, and in practice, these three forward turrets are super firing, which means that this is a very, very large ship and you will be very tempted, like I was, to, you know, um, kind of angle like this if you're attacking enemy ships, which is a very bad idea because you'll be facing Shikishimas, a lot of Shikishimas actually, and Yamatos and other things like that. And you don't have a very good armor and it is a very, very large target. Uh, so large, in fact, that even with the active fuel smoke, which is very useful to, you know, cover your turns, uh, you will find that um, you'll get blind fired for half your hit points very, very easily, like for months and such things. So, uh, in fact, the, that's why I'm saying it. The way you play the ship is like this. You point that bit towards the enemy. <laughs> and if you're not currently actively being, being shot at and you're in a safe position, that's when you can kind of swing around and get a little bit, get the rear turrets to work as well. Or if you're dealing with destroyers. But for everything else, it's like this. And the torpedo angles are pretty good, like I mentioned. So once I realized that, once that clicked, this went from a, I'm not really interested into, oh my gosh, I love this machine. <laughs> this is an excellent boat. All right, but um, one thing at a time. So uh, you can get torpedo tube reload, or you can get the advanced turret. I would thoroughly recommend the advanced turret because that gives you 20% traverse speed, which is which is very much needed because I think the base traverse is dreadful. Yeah, even with that, she gets only up to nine degrees per second, which is the base traverse on an American cruiser. And it allows you to do this, uh, to take the main battery mod three. Now you could be tempted with the atrociously long 13.5 second base reload. I mean, the, um, the Yoshino has 305 millimeter guns and gets a faster reload than this thing. Uh, you would be sorely tempted, well, like I was, to use the main battery mod too. And um, like I did, you'll regret it because you get your, shur your turrets shot off like no tomorrow. So main battery mod 3 is the one that I went with because uh, most of the time, if you are in a, if you're being shot at and you're being in a, in a dangerous position, you can either go bow in or you zip around the map at full speed and try to dodge as much as you can and just return fire as goes and play her at maximum range. The second slot I have in propulsion because I have played with the double steering, but it doesn't make all that much of a difference. And uh, honestly, you really, really, really need the propulsion. I've been torpedoed a couple of times, surprise torpedo, just given how big this ship is. Uh, even a widespread from Ishima, from Ishimakaze can make your life very, very short in these things. And the third slot uh, definitely needs to go into the steering gear mod. You could be kind of tempted to take concealment in this thing, actually. But uh, once again, that's what you've got the smokes for. All right. Um, what have I put in there as a commander? No, it's a level. It's a tier ten ship, so I put a level ten commander in. Uh, underwater ex, uh, ex, un underwater protection, yes, and uh, torpedo alert, yes. You don't necessarily need an additional uh, defensive AA. The air defense expert, though, I would thoroughly recommend. Uh, definitely the artillery maintenance expert as well for a bit additional precision. Uh, you don't really need an, an additional precise aim. You already got four of them, so that's good. Uh, we can do, we can use survivalist. Uh, I have exploit weakness here. You could take generalist. It doesn't really make a difference. Exploit weakness because uh, it's tier 10 and a lot of things tend to be on fire <laughs> and you do a little bit more damage. Uh, marksman skill, definitely. And I am actually running the Mistweaver. Now, uh, it doesn't add a huge amount of time. Like, it adds like a little, un a little under two seconds to your smoke screen. But that's another almost two seconds that you get. Plus, it gets you a much, much faster reload on the smoke screen, which once again, given how big and how well unmaneuverable that ship is, yeah, for covering your turns, uh, having a smoke is is very, very useful. Uh, demo expert because it's, nothing else makes sense, and I actually have the owner seeker in here. You could also take compartment maintenance. Uh, note that on the traditional Italian captains, you get the IFAG, which is for an Italian cruiser rather useless because they don't get high explosive shells. <laughs> Similar problem that the British have. Uh, uh, there is a legendary captain which actually has the, I think it's uh, Luigi Sansonetti, which has the improved SAP penetration. Uh, but otherwise, uh, APCS is the way to go. Now, I personally find that 
the uh, semi armor piercing shells on this thing actually have a very very good penetration by themselves as they go and the armor piercing against heavily armored battleships can struggle a little bit so you'll often see me just switching around um, and I, I think in practice the difference is marginal uh, i have had points where the armor piercing just couldn't penetrate anything and uh, the semi armor piercing actually did much better at, at ranges uh, against destroyers that's kind of the only the only thing you really want to use the SAP uh, against everything else. It's kind of a bit of a depends on how far away you are, but the different the difference itself isn't all that great. Now uh, she doesn't have German armor piercing, so the AP isn't really going to do the same amount of damage that you're going to do with something like a Hindenburg. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. You can, if you are so inclined, get yourself the historical camouflage which gives you range, which is good, because you'd like playing the ship at max range, especially in battleship heavy engagements. Uh, it gives torpedo range, which I will take, but they come with a 9.6 kilometer base range. That's pretty good already to begin with. A better traverse and better surface detection, all good things for this ship. But as usual, we're just going to go with the C1 Assault Camo. All right, um, I think we've covered the things. So uh, yeah, le let me show you how I ended up actually enjoying this ship. In the first battle, we're up against Yamato, Shikishima, Kurfürst, Yoshino, and tr a triple Wooster division. <laughs> Talk about toxic. The only thing that's worse than a triple Wooster um, division is uh, would be triple Smolensk. But as uh, as fun will have it, on our own side, we have a double Smolensk and a Moskva. <laughs> and no carriers. Sorry, sorry, Woosters. All right. So uh, cruiser rich environment and uh, three three pretty dangerous battleships uh, to come with but um, i'm pretty sure the uh, the <laughs> the battleships are just going to are just going to be fodder for the smolensks at this point all right uh, fault line lots of islands we're going to start on the right side and we're probably just going to rush ahead a little bit we've got a smolensk with us and um, I, I generally i make smolensks my priority target but well this one's on my side so what can i do <laughs> no friendly fire here and yeah, i wouldn't if it was so we'll get, we'll get the turret slowly swung around, uh, f put her on full forward speed, and um, I'm kind of going to leave her on the semi armor piercing first. So the, if you're shooting at things like cruisers, or super cruisers, doesn't really make that much of a difference. I mean, Worcesters are reasonably well, well armored as well. Um, there's no clear winner. You, it's it's really a bit a bit a matter of luck because the alpha damage on the SAP is just significantly higher than on the armor piercing. And uh, you can do really good damage with the SAP and you can get really average damage with the armor piercing. So oftentimes I just stick with the semi armor piercing against cruisers and sometimes even against battleships. All right, we're, uh, we're about, we're about here-ish. I'm just thinking if the Smolensk might smoke up if we spot anything, but then again, there are no destroyers here. And uh, there's the Yoshino, probably the only thing in the game that I can actually outspot. So smoke up, so that's such that I'm not getting targeted. And full on turn, and we get the shots out. And of course, the Yoshino blind fires me and takes away and hits me for seven and a half. But uh, I'm kind of returning the favor here. <laughs> and that's what I mean by the extremely heavy broadside uh, that the Venezia has. And now I can actually turn away without being smacked again. Yeah, angled sufficiently. Now the Yoshino is going to avoid these storms, but that's also not the point. This means the Yoshino is going away. And we've got, a, we've got ourselves a Wooster to shoot at, who of course has, no, has nothing better to do than shoot at me. Well, fair enough, the Smolensk is a little bit far away, there come the Yoshino Torps. And we'll just want to wiggle the ship and move as quickly as we can. Now, as you've seen, we've got some bounces and we've got some full pens on the semi armor piercing. So a lot of it really depends on, well, it's a matter of luck, really. But uh, Wooster is buggering off behind the island, he's not having any of that. Um, although I haven't even smacked him, but the Yoshino is still shooting at me, so... I'm just going to make myself scarce here and uh, then loop, loop around and uh, see if we can engage that battleship there. So that's why, uh, that's why I'm thinking of switching over to the armor piercing, but we're quite far away, which means I'm going to hit the deck armor, which means the semi-armor piercing is probably going to be reasonably good. Now I'm going undetected and there's a Yamato. And uh, look at where these gun turrets are pointing. So I'm waiting for the Yamato to shoot. Of course, the Yamato does the same. <laughs> so, okay, all right then. Uh, all right, uh, let's give it a try. Precise aim up, uh, shots out, and then we're going to go bow in as much as we can and get behind the island. And you see really reasonably decent uh, penetrations there on the semi armor piercing. So of course he's shooting at me. 
but I think he is kind of underestimating what I can do to a Yamato. So um, also he's on fire <laughs> because he's get because he's getting Smolensked and he doesn't have any interest in doing something about it. So um, I'm I'm uh, putting the engines full ahead, bow in, which means I can get all three turrets, forward turrets on target. Actually, all three turrets that the, sh the ship possesses on target. And now we're going to torp Rajayama, which means that his shots are going to going to fly across me from the first go because he's not expecting me to be this quick. And um, my my fuel smoke is, is is off cooldown. So let's see if we can sink a bit, a bit of armor piercing into the bow section, heal up a little bit, Targeting. wait for his next salvo before we make the turn. And there it comes. Yep, salvo goes. These were the secondaries, no damage, almost no damage, smoke up, a uh, couple, couple more armor piercing into the uh, semi armor piercing into the side at, or into the bow at this distance. They are gonna pen and then we're just gonna torp this thing to death and he has absolutely nothing he can do about it and now he's dead. And I'm not. And uh, that, that pleases me to, to know to a great extent. All right, there's that Yoshino again. So still got the semi armor piercing loaded, so we might as well give that a try. See where he's pointing. His guns are not pointing at me either. Yep, he's shooting at someone else. Good. That's what teams are for. <laughs> Give the enemy someone to shoot at. And yeah, against something like the Yoshino, these uh, semi armor piercing shells, even at long range, are actually doing a really, really reasonable uh, job of, um, of hitting him very, very hard. Plus, he's, get, he's, he's getting Smolensk at the, um, at the same time. Uh, really, Smolensk should be prohibited. Um, it's, just some, it's just wrong to, to play, to have these things around. But uh, let's see if we can finish him off, because there's also a Wooster over there. And he, I'm not sure where he's looking, but uh, he might not have anyone else to shoot at because the rest of my team is behind islands. So, yep, he's shooting at me. So, okay, my team can finish off that Yoshino. I've got a Wooster to shoot at. Now, Wooster, 150mm armor piercing. First of all, he's going to have a devil of a time actually hitting me. <laughs> and um, uh, definitely, this is something I can actually tank uh, with, uh, with the armor that I have here. So... Uh, otherwise, I can just go bow in, dodge a little bit, and yeah, just take a couple of shots. Uh, I do need to, and he shot my steering gear off for some reason. Uh, so I am smoking up here because there's a Shikishima, and I want to see where that guy's, uh, where that guy is shooting at, and I want to conduct a full turn to the uh, to the left and dunk some torpedoes in their general directions, and then open up the distance because Shikishimas at this range can make very very short work of me. So um, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just shoot something in the general direction. I mean, we're gonna hit something there, <laughs> Wooster or Shiki. Oh well, that was disappointing. But uh, now we'll we'll open up the distance, and yeah, I think the Shikishima was just shooting at me, or was that the Wooster still? It might have been the Wooster still, but yeah, the Shiki is just getting burned down by. <laughs> by double Smolensks. Uh, this is really a... Uh, and uh, takes takes a torpid. Now this range, um, yeah, I'm gonna try the armor piercing again. The uh, they, again, once again, w depending on where you hit her, you can actually do something reasonably decent with the semi armor piercing as well. I mean, that Shikishima is very, very dead. Uh, I don't know why he's just sitting there. I mean, just accepting the fate, I guess. So, um, and yeah, the armor piercing does, does okay damage as well. It's got a bit better penetration, but it doesn't quite have the alpha damage. All right, Smolensk take that, takes that thing out. So uh, let's get a couple more shots out at the Wooster, because I am out of heals at this point. And uh, yeah, the Wooster is uh, running away as, as fast as his little screws are carrying him, which is a, a wise choice, because you really, really don't want to be <laughs> uh, shot at by one of these things if you can avoid it. But um, as I mentioned, I can just, you know, go bow in and then have nine guns, <laughs> which is as much as some other cruisers, and uh, just wiggle the ship a bit and dodge underneath it, his shells so he can't easily take me out because he's actually going to have to hit me first. And as somebody pointed out in the comments very helpfully, the Wooster's guns are actually mortars. <laughs> Siege mortars or some sort. Okay, we're down to 2,500 hit points, but uh, the battle is won if I die or not. So last shot out at that Wooster. I think he actually stopped moving. So uh, yeah, that's mostly going to miss. But uh, yeah, so this is the uh, this is sort of the play style. Um, zip around and uh, dodge where you can, and go bow in where you can't. And uh, to nobody's great surprise, the Smolensk the Smolensk takes the cake. I uh, had a lot of battleship HP to burn down, so um, yeah, <laughs> fun and engaging gameplay is what I call that. Uh, so where did we come in the team? Let's have a quick look. And we did seventy five thousand points of damage. Not bad. We did. We did score a Citadel with the SAP, and we came second in the team, only surpassed by the Smolensk, who, to no great, to nobody's great surprise, actually did pretty well. The other Smolensk uh, 
well, didn't didn't get a share because probably everything was on Permafire at the time. And to nobody's great surprise, the Triple Worcester division still did pr very good on the other side. But yeah, sorry, you really, um, yeah, Moskva and uh, and and this thing mm, you don't want to be dealing with in Worcesters. Anyway, let's look at another one. So here we are. To nobody's great surprise, there's a Shikishima. But at least um, this this battle is refreshingly Smolensk free. Uh, Shikishima on the enemy team. If you're up against the Smolensk, actually, I mean, she's going to burn you down, but uh, the semi armor piercing against the Smolensk should do a really, really reasonable job. Anyway, uh, Shikishima, Iowa, Worcester, Saint Louis, and three destroyers. We have a Freddy and a Yamato on our side, and a Des Moines. So, uh, not a. Uh, not an unbalanced game. I find that the matchmaker recently is doing an increasingly good job of um, actually mixing cruisers in, where previously uh, cruisers would have would have been a, a very very rare occasion, especially on the Asian on the Asian server. But I'm I'm seeing an increased amount of balanced games with things like two battleship, three cruisers, two destroyers, that sort of thing. Not the um, five, six battleships and one cruiser, or or six battleships, one destroyer, or six destroyers, one battleship, sort of things. All right. Um, depending where Fletcher goes, I'm gonna head towards that island because I am actually quite quick, and I'm pretty sure I can almost keep up with that thing. Fletcher might have been useful to go wide here, but uh, he wants to bite through the center, so I'm just gonna go behind the island, and. Um, and once again, go bow in and get all my guns to bear. The two on the rear don't count. Uh, there we have an Iowa. Okay, so first customer. Let's start opening up at the Iowa. And we've got the Shikishima as well. So good thing that I went bow in. And the Fletcher is running into pretty much everything cruisery and destroyery in the center. But that Shiki looks pretty, uh, looks pretty brave. I mean, F F Fletcher is probably... Um, Cursing his luck right now that he didn't go he didn't go wide, and uh, <laughs> and, uh, and just played with these battleships. But yeah, okay. So I'm backing off, uh, getting some torpedoes away against the Shikishima, and switching over to the armor piercing because I am trying to open up the distance. I am getting boosted there from the left, but um, uh, we can we can do something about that. It looks like Iowa has found some torpedoes, and Shikishima is in the process of doing the same thing. So uh, just uh, dodge as much as possible and repair a little bit from the Shiki. And now we're going to get the smoke activated. Oh, and Iowa comes around. Yeah, <laughs> you picked the wrong moment to come around that corner, Sunshine. <laughs> There's a Fletcher and me. And uh, if I have anything to say about it, you're a dead Iowa. All right, that's that thing down. All right, back to the semi-armor piercing because there is a smattering of destroyers in the center and the other cruiser is, what was that, a Des Moines? Is kind of looking to battle it out with the Shikishima on the enemy team. So I'm going to leave him to it and uh, clean up the destroyers here as much as I can. Uh, starting with that Yu Yang over there who got very lucky that the angle wasn't good. Uh, Worcester is still shooting at me, trying to do Worcester things. And I'm not sure if the Yu Yang is just sitting there or what he's planning, but... Um, uh, there are three enemy destroyers and that's the only one spotted so um yeah okay there is the yugamo so i am gonna have to help out here on on the eastern flank uh, there's another Wooster, uh, there's the rooster again was giving some parting shots but i should be out of range of that thing by now and there's also the harugumo okay so lots of he spammy not sure what the freddy is doing back there i mean the yamato i understand but what's the freddy doing back there <laughs> well uh, to be fair he's without cruiser support uh, with three destroyers so he's probably well biding his time fair enough fair enough uh in this sort of situation you can't easily push in even in a freddy but i'm here now do, do not fear uh <laughs> Venezia is here now i am gonna have harugumo torps in the water but uh, this is what happens when you get close to a Venezia and a destroyer. <laughs> Alright, there is going to be Harugumu Torps in the water, so I'm going to try... Okay, Freddy's in my way, and the Wooster is still trying to burn me down. And yeah, there come the Harugumu Torps. So, excuse me, Freddy, if you don't mind, <laughs> you're a stationary target, but you're making, my, you're making my life a little bit harder than it needs to be. Uh, okay, so there is Yugumo. Okay, uh, shots out at Yugumo, and so I'm actually going to use my smoke now because I don't want Yugumo to target me. So I'm, I'm assuming that if he doesn't have a if he doesn't have a torpedo lock because I'm in smoke, he's not actually going to target me. Do I need to do something about Harugumo? Not really. Harugumo is buggering off, but we are down. Uh, so far, it's only the Iowa that I've killed, and we've lost two destroyers, and we've lost the Des Moines on the other side as well. 
But uh, now I'm just gonna kill that um, that Yugomo. Yeah, there comes there come the Yugomo torps. They're actually going for the battleships, and uh, that lone destroyer there is holding is holding the fort. Okay, that should be the end of the Yugomo. Yeah, Yugomo dead, which means Harugumo is next. Uh, he's probably just realized that he's run out of friends on this flank and is, is trying to get away. So Dispersion says nope. But uh, he's doing a full turn, so that should be the end of the Harugumo as well, which leaves the Saint Louis. Yeah, Harugumo down, <laughs> and Saint Louis is next. Now I am running a little bit low on heals, but um, uh, we've uh, so far I've killed everything that our team has killed. And um, but we, we're even on kills now after these two destroyers, so uh, it starts looking a little bit better. We're ahead on points. Uh, there's still the Shikishima out there somewhere, and uh, the battleship's actually quite useful in shooting at the Saint Louis, which is shooting at me. So I'm turning in because the Frenchman probably has torpedoes away. And uh, yeah, once again, bow guns are, are sufficient. And yeah, he, he's been giving uh, broadside to the battleships, trying to get shots at me, which uh, has been punished severely. So now let's just kill the Saint Louis. And we're gonna get the rear guns around and then we'll swing back in just to dodge the torpedoes, but that thing is dead. Uh, we're down to three ships, so um, I'm gonna have to do some more killing, and I may not, because we're still on a draw situation. All right, what is left there? Um, all right, worse, we're down to two ships, because Wooster just took out Yugomo, which leaves whatever that is back there and me. Okay, we're gonna have to kill something. Um, it's the Yama. Okay, Yamato is left. All right, Yamato is on decent health, so Yu Yang isn't gonna kill Yama. I can kill Yu Yang if he gets me broadside like that, but uh, Yu Yang is probably going to go unspotted, and I have no way of respotting him if he doesn't want to be respotted. But there are going to be Yu Yang torps in the water. Okay, Yu Yang is gone. Is going unspotted. Wooster is in full health. No way I can kill Wooster, Wooster in a minute if he doesn't want to be. Shikishima, on the other hand, is on what is that? Like a little bit less than half health. So let's kill Shiki. Uh, that's the only chance we have. All right, armor piercing out. Uh, smoke up just to see where he's going and not give a not giving him something to shoot at okay he's shooting at me he's got the um what is that high explosive maybe that was the secondary i'm not sure so now we're going to go bow in because shiki is rushing me i'm not sure um i'm not sure why they're winning and the yamato is smart you see that yamato is actually running they had the harugumo torps that's why i didn't go any further i had to back off here otherwise harugumo would have killed me now we're going to go bow in and, and deal with the shiki there come the yama shots nice someone is thinking yeah, I mean, you're not gonna kill, you're not gonna cap in 18 seconds, and now we just need to kill the Shikishima, and that should be game. Because the Wooster is gone, the Yamato's run away, and he points it out, and I completely agree, that's the thing we need to kill, and there we go. And that just leaves the Wooster and the uh, Destroyer, which is uh, going for the cap. Yamato has run. If he hadn't run, he might have been killed, but this way we're ahead by 20 points, and we're winning the game. <laughs> uh, that took some doing. <laughs> But uh, yeah, um, <sighs> we, yeah, I, I accidentally the enemy team, and we did get all the medals and did 107,000 points of damage. Uh, yes, the Venezia. I absolutely like this ship. <laughs> it is a very very good ship. <laughs> it is very quick. the uh, The fuel smoke is excellent at covering your at covering your. Um, your turns and your positions where you don't want to be shot at or like dissuading destroyers from dropping torps on you. The torpedoes have great angles and the semi armor piercing can hit really, really hard. So uh, very much enjoying the ship. I think if you could get the legendary captain onto that, that might be great as well. Plus historical camo and like a full on max. But uh, this is a very, very good cruiser. I am having fun with this. But do remember, you don't need to give broadside or even angle. Your, your primary position towards things that hurt is bow in because you get nine guns on target bow in. Takes a while to reload, doesn't matter. 100,000 damage still doable in this thing. Anyway, that's it for me today. Thanks everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.